Hi, I'm Matt from XR Racing and today we're going to show you the difference between the Haltech IC7 digital dash and the UC10. So the IC7 is the original dash they did, UC10 is brand new, it came out last year. Uh, we're going to go through all the different features of the different ones so you can choose which one you want for yourself. So the first thing we're going to go into is pricing. So obviously there's a big difference in price between these which may sway your opinion whichever way but we'll go into it anyway. So for pricing, the IC7 currently, as of today's date, is £974 and the UC10 is £1,595. So there's a little bit of a gap between them. There's about a £500 mark gap, £500-£600. But I mean, with the extra features in the UC10, I think it's definitely worth it. But again, it's totally up to you what you're using it for and everything else. So you can probably see the size difference between these. Um, the IC7 is a 7-inch and the UC10 is a 10-inch, hence IC7, UC10. Um, they are also completely different resolutions. So the IC7 is an 800 by 480 screen and the UC10 is a 1280 by 480 screen. So quite a big difference in terms of the actual screen size itself. So the next bit to go over is what's in the box for both. So obviously they come with each respective dash. They both have 34 pin main connectors. Uh, they both have DTM cables. The new UC10 has a USB-A to USB-C cable which is going to be way faster for data transfer whereas the older one just comes with a standard USB to M5 cable uh, they both come with mounting screws and they both come with a quick start guide and all the other little bits that you'd love from Haltech such as stickers and key rings so the next thing is visuals um, you can obviously see on here on the IC7 that they've got buttons on the screen whereas the UC10 doesn't so the IC7 you can cycle through on buttons uh, UC10 you can't but the screen's way bigger so you kind of trade off on that one. So the next part we're going to go over is how to actually physically mount them. So Haltech do sell the moulded panels, they sell tube mounts, they sell like multiple other different ways of being able to mount them. Uh, they don't actually come with these, you can buy them separately, but they are available. So the next thing to talk about are the compatibilities with multiple ECUs. So all of these obviously connect to Haltech ECUs via the CAM protocol, um, which is literally just a wire to the ECU. And they're also plug and play with a load of aftermarket ECU brands such as Link, Max ECU, Motec and loads more. So even if you don't have a Haltech, you can still potentially use this with your ECU. So the next thing to talk about is the data logging. Uh, they both have 512 meg onboard data logging, which is massively handy for if you're doing like track days or anything. Um, or even if you just need to find out, you know, different sensors and what they're doing. Um, they're also both IP64 rated, so they're water and dust resistant, which again is a massive thing, especially for like dashes like this. So the difference here is that the UC10 does have 10 analog inputs, whereas the IC7 only has four. So the last difference between these two is that the UC10 actually has Wi-Fi on board. So, you know, you can connect to the laptop and you can kind of do everything from there rather than having to use a cable. There is a cable port on the front anyway, just in there, and you can use it if you really want to, but also you can use Wi-Fi. So. Yeah, very handy, kind of new modern technology and yeah, it's just easier to use. So now you know all the differences between the UC10 and the IC7. Hopefully this will help you buy whichever one you want to buy. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. We are going to have a couple more Haltech videos coming up. So if you're interested in those, uh, make sure to subscribe again and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.